we still have a, lab, a leverage as the EU because at one point or another, I mean, taxes are going to be imposed. So the US knows that. Uh, it, it doesn't matter if they are going to be imposed in June or they are going to be imposed in, in January or in February or in October. The thing is that they are going to be imposed and if taxes have been paid from EU producers, then US producers will pay their share too. That's why I think that this is the correct basis for a fair negotiation on that issue. So one final question for you, Minister, then. The Commissioner for Trade, the outgoing one, Cecilia Malmström, has said that she would like to see a negotiated settlement. Members of the Commission, European governments, have all said they'd like to see a negotiated settlement. It sounds like, though, that if countermeasures from the EU are to be applied in the future, you would like to see them target the same kinds of small producers in the US that are going to feel the pain in countries like Greece. That's why I think we are entering into a very bitter discussion. And obviously, the countermeasures will take into account the effect that the taxes have had on specific um, categories of, of the producers. So when you have small farmers being influenced and, and suffering from this kind of taxes, then one would expect you know, a, a similar response from EU. So that's why I'm saying the, we, we should avoid all that. It's, quite, it's going to be quite painful for, for everyone. I think uh, the reason is to avoid this, this whole uh, issue and I expect the US to deal it with, with sense, with common sense and with the necessary sensitivity. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.